evening on this Halloween night. Well, it's seven o'clock at night. I've started recording, recording. I don't know why I'm doing, I'm doing this. Um, I must admit, I've got the light off. The shed, the shed lights are off. The chair's creaking. It is getting haunted in here. Oh, sorry. Let me cover over the lens. See if I can do something with that. Um, I'm still on DC. I thought I'd get the main, the main line class 56. And I am running. Let me turn the 56 off. That's actually quite loud. Um, I don't know if any of you have actually got the club model and had a little, trouble, little bit of trouble. And I have. This does not like running backwards. Not at all like it's running backwards at all. I was having a grinding sound, no idea where it was coming from from it. I took the shell off, put it on the track again, see if it was grinding. The shell is making the grinding sound, but it's unusual, it shouldn't be doing it. Then I realized it ain't the shell, there's actually something holding the motor on. Or has not even been lubricated by Hornby. So I've, I've lubricated that part and it's starting to run smoothly. Well, it could be because it's cold in the shed. Yep. I do love running my shunters backwards. And I think it's got this weird glow on it today. Oh, well, I've got the cars back in. I've got the vehicles back on the track. Oh, it's weird. I really should put the light on. No, I thought I'll put the light, I thought I'd turn the lights off, use the camera lens light and see what how much I can record before I get bored. Um, another one of the locos I'm running. It might sound a little bit rattly and a little bit old. But I am running a mainline class 56. Actually, Tell light, it's not a mainline class 56, so the chassis is Hornby, the body shell is mainline. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Weird mixture. But no. I paid £35 for that years ago, a couple of years back. A year back, a year ago. Yep. It's one of the last mainline production items. Yep, I put the one angle coaches away, but I left the 47 on the track. And I'm in the dark, in the shed. It is weird. I'm doing a video on Halloween. I wouldn't do this video, because I haven't got a lot to say. I was thinking of a ghost, a ghost story, what someone told me. Then I was thinking of the one, what happened to me at work. And it was very weird that day. It was me and another member of staff just turned up at 6.30 in the morning. We're both laughing away, joking. I just put the tills down. She was, she was just putting the bread in the oven. And all we saw was a white cloud of mist go past the shelving, where well, we're beyond the shelves, our bakery area is. We saw a white cloud of mist go right in front of like, oh yeah, we were using hand signals. And I looked back on the, I went upstairs, looked on the camera, could not find it. But we both saw this white cloud of mist. First we thought it was the air conditioning unit playing up. But there's no air conditioning vents there. It's just a big white cloud of mist going down the back of the bakery area down the back of the aisle. It was weird. But it's got me thinking about the ghost story of the boy I saw, well, someone told me this weirdly weird ghost story. They were locking up one night. They were, well, how can I describe it? They were locking up, it was about nine o'clock at night, and all, 
all the staff were downstairs, they, he was putting the tills upstairs, locking the doors, checking the windows. In the corner of his eye, he saw a boy in Victorian clothing upstairs. In Victorian clothing upstairs, in the corner of his eye, near the fire escape. Never thought about it till he looked at it in the corner of his eye, then walks away. Then he, then the alarm went set. I got a phone call saying, "Oh, can you come in and have a look at the alarm system?" I said, "Yeah, all right, I'll have a look." We both went upstairs, but it was a weird feeling and a weird smell of baked bread. Don't get me wrong; we have a we have a bakery, we have ovens, and you can smell that downstairs, but not upstairs. Normally you get a smell of golf milk, but in the fire exit upstairs, we smell baked bread. Normally baked beans after someone's farted. Um, that was another weird ghost story. Look at me, I'm ranting about ghost stories now. In a sh it's been six minutes. And... I think we've all, we all believe in something outside the four walls. I mean, the sky above, all that stuff. I mean, what was it? Someone once said, we're not alone. Actually, I thought I had a ghost story of ghost, the, I thought I had something happening in here last week. Then I realized, no, it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago. I moved a couple of things in the layout, then I found out they were moved again. That was no ghost, that was my brother George. He keeps having the tendency to move a Ford Angler from here and stick it on a hill. He's actually added balance on there, but with a bit of blue tack. So, yeah, that's a weird story. So, right. I've freaked you out for seven and a half minutes on Halloween. I am running in the dark, my class 40, no, 56. I only said 46 then. Oh, it's got a driver in it. I never noticed it had a driver in it until now. Yeah. That's spooky, never knew we had a driver. Really, driver? Mm. And I've lost, I've actually lost it. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's behind me. Let's get the crap out of me. Uh, right, eight minutes long. I am saying goodbye for now. Have a happy Halloween for everyone who's out there. Who's ever watching this video. Everyone says watch a horror film at this time of year. Me, I'm going to watch Final Destination. No, not Final Destination. Paranormal Activity. Or oh, Ghost Adventures. Actually, Most Haunted. That seems more easier. That doesn't freak the stomach out. Bye bye for now.